So here's the setup I'm rolling with in this match. Just note, roll sensitivity and pitch sensitivities are cranked all the way up to 100%. Also noted, I cranked up the non-linearity to 1.9 for my joystick, so I am tripling down on my low and precision. Just remember the trade-off on non-linearity. Low, uh, low and precision for high-end imprecision. Let's see how this rolls. For this match is three airfield domination on Kalakin Kin Goal. God no God forbid I can actually pronounce that. My weapon of choice, the freedom dispensing P forty sevens. I have both of them in my lineup, along with the F four U Corsair, X C F Hellcat, and the P400. None of which will be I'll actually be using in this episode. So this is all P47 all the time. So, meandering around, just w wondering when the hell are our guys going to capture A. They take forever to do so. The first four guys landing on it just miss completely. The one going in low and slow actually gets it. So for this match, A is our natural, B is the enemy's team's natural, C is the one in contention, which is all the way off to the side, within e equidistant from the ball spawns. Of course, I'm not caring about that right now. There's a B-25. Boom. As expected, I get all of that B-25. I'm using the armor-piercing uh, ammunition belt for this uh, P-47, setting my gun conversions to 600 meters. Yeah, let's see how far I can actually poke these guys from. One of my 50 cal bullets eventually finds the bowfighter pilot. Not too surprising considering the size of the bowfighter cockpit. And of course there is now this confrontation over C. Now, if I remember, I always think to myself, I remember that guy being over C. So, how the hell did he let our guy just land and take it? Uh, shit's getting out of control over there, so... I rush on over to help, and then I get cold feet, noting that point B is captured on our side, the point closest to their spawn. Now, all those fighters around there, I'm a little hesitant just to dive in. B-47, though fast and well-armored, is really not much in a dogfight. Going up against a A-36, however. If it's a free kill you'll give me, then it's a free kill I shall take. The guy is completely dead. I think I gave him a few bonus shots. I'm feeling cheeky at this point because this setup is working great. I am not missing. So 
a hurricane. Declines the head on. Or, you know, meanders the head on. He's on my yaw, so. And my yaw control ain't as good as my pitch and roll, so. Gotta find a way to get that down. Rail, 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 rail. He's down. Flipping back over. Noted some aircraft heading towards A in the direction that P-39 was heading. Note the P-400, and he's a... He's a... Well, he should be next on my Christmas kill list. All of a sudden, he's on fire. And... Chivalry t gets the better on me, so I ignore him. I know this is Ju-87 is heading towards me, and you know that's just one thing I do not want to head on under any circumstances. Ju-87 pilots love it when you do it. I know that another P-400 bearing down on me, but I ignore him in favor of the Ju-87. I get the Ju-87, but the P-400 sets me on fire in one hit. Trying to salvage the situation, I turn off my engine. And, but it's to no avail. So, one P-47 lost to uh, five enemy aircraft. Not a bad trade-off. But I did say this was all about the P-47, so here comes P-47 number two. This one I packed on the... Stealth rounds. So, now that I look back on it, I wonder if that was a mistake. AP rounds were working surprisingly well. I can't see him. Hmm. And 50 caliber bullets really aren't known for their massive payload. I don't know. It, you guys uh, like the armor-piercing rounds better than the armor-piercing incendiaries? I know I'd like the higher chance of on fire, but whatever. Hurricane tries to head on me. He's on fire. He actually wants to rocket toward me. Sneaky bastard. Also accept another head-on from a MiG-3 and set him on fire immediately. Last, I only get the assist from it. Hurricane gets on my tail, still on fire. Not much he can do against my armor with those frickin' 303s. And he burns down. Once again, situation stabilized in our favor. Though there's gonna be a conga line of them heading towards C. Confident I would have got that LA had he not lost the head on. Actually I did set him on fire. That guy's still alive, but you know, the marker didn't show on this replay. And my memory of the match is already getting foggy, foggy despite me having played it only eight minutes ago. So yeah, that LA fight, that LA survived my initial onslaught, though I set him on fire. But before I can rip, whip back around and get my gun settled on him, he died to a team teammate. That's the chain of events that happened. So, the sneaky bastards capped A behind us. I'm looking over there at that aisle 2 in trouble. I'm already racing towards A at max speed. There's a hurricane somewhere in front of me. So I'm uh, eyeing him. Or Spitfire. Yeah, there's a hurricane over there. Then I eye the Spitfire. I keep looking back at that hurricane 
debating what target to go after, but I'm feeling cheeky against the Spitfire, so I go after him. That there was a critical hit against the Spitfire. He rolls back, chasing his target. Cut across me again, I give him another helping hand. And he cut across me a third time, and third time's a charm, he's done. I set the head on against the Hurricane, who is already under my fire by the time he nosed around at me. Fatal mistake, he's down. Up next is the P-400, or P-40, because I suck at reading names. P-40 is pretty much a flying coffin at the best of circumstances anyway. That I destroy him is a foregone conclusion. That I just rail him with a good second or two with fire. I'm just not missing. I am loving this, but I am not loving the fact that we seem to be losing the match. So I'm pretty much out of position to do anything else. Our allies managed to cap B. Brilliant. The entire rest of the enemy team is all around C. And I'm just planning myself right here, confused on whether or not I should be defending B or A. Where a Sky Whale appears. So yes, I will happily take those three RP points. I kill his elevator, and that causes him to do this, which allows the flaming P-38 to rail him with his cannon for my third assist. Now, some enemy aircraft makes a run for the, he's getting the SPD. He fails, and he's getting shot to pieces by the AL-2. And that was their last hurrah. We win. Pretty sure I would have got this Yak-9M had the map not ended. But whatever, I will take a win with a first place th finish. Thank you very much. Though, bad luck to this guy. 3,600 points, and yet, still lose. Just can't carry the team that hard, I'm afraid. It's not like my team did any better, but we just had the benefit of... Timely, the, uh, having the airfield by the time the map ended and the tickets ran out. Pretty close match. So yeah, in conclusion, my setup is awesome and I am just gonna go worship the gods of Thrustmaster for bestowing me this lofty Um, what's the word I'm looking for? This lofty gift.